All right, and keeping up with the calendar trend I got going on. I guess I should have done this one before the last one since the last one was... No, no, this is right. Yeah, yeah, 2008. The last one was 2009-2010. Um, I guess this goes into 2009. So, uh, I got this. Uh, I happened to stop at, a, I think, even a GameStop. And uh, it was just sitting there. It was, like, just there for a few dollars. It's like, I'll, I'll take it. And uh, so I did. And it's got a little water damage. I had a flood. I've mentioned it before. It's got a little bit of water damage on it. But thankfully it didn't mess it up too much. Because this is... Uh, it looks like it's a pretty valuable calendar. Whenever I see it like online, it's kind of pricey. So I picked... I don't know. I got it for $12 maybe or something like that. I don't even know. Probably not even that much. But um, I picked it up at the time I wasn't really into Resident Evil, but I was like kind of getting back into it. So I'm glad I did pick it up whenever I got, uh, whenever I, whenever I saw it. So got some cool Wesker stuff there. And, uh, before we go too far into the calendar, this is where I keep all my loose papers and everything. So, uh, let's take a look at what we have here. Here's some Resident Evil 6 stickers with Jake and Sherry. Some, uh, descriptions. I'm in a different area doing this, so, like, my focus isn't really working. And the light overhead is kind of screwing things up. There's Leon and Helena. Ooh, I got it backwards, so we're going to get some mystery stuff. Ah, right, look at here. Here, here, this is cool. Uh, let me get my shadow out of the way. So I drew this. Jeez, come on, buddy, work with me. Thank you. I drew this. It looks like 2000. <laughs> One of only like three pieces I've ever drew that actually looks anything like what I was trying to draw. So it's pretty cool, man. Nemesis. A favorite always. Going on now, what, 22 years now? I don't know what month I drew this in. I don't know, it was probably over summer or something. But there you go. What do we have here? Another drawing by me. Mr. X. Again, in 2000. By my signature there, since it helps. This was Mr. X from the comic book, where he's uh, they're releasing him out of the helicopter or something. And, uh... <laughs> Look at them hands. Yeah, so not bad. Not bad. Uh, 14 year old me, or however old, I don't even know how old I was. 15. Um, here's some uh, clips. Magazine clips. Oh, don't want to show that, I guess. There's a, there's a little jokey joke from... Uh, I think PlayStation Magazine. Yeah. I'll hang that there for a minute. Let you read it if you so choose to. Alright. Who is this? Mila? No, that ain't Mila. Is it? No. What the f What is that for? Is that her? I don't know. I have no idea. I think I screwed up. And some zombies. Get out of that real quick. I don't want to get in trouble. For showing a human body. Oh no. Uh, here's some more Resident Evil stuff, of course, that I pulled out of a magazine. What is your favorite movie based on a video game? Mortal Kombat. For the win there. Final Fantasy. Spirits Within. Tomb Raider, Street Fighter, and Super Mario. Super Mario beat out Street Fighter? Like, Street Fighter was bad, but... At least. <sighs> Resident Evil was the first video game since Mortal Kombat that I thought would make an exciting and thrilling movie. Mr. Mila Jovovich. Sweet. Some more magazine clippings here. 
I think this is all actually the same thing. Here's one from the olden days. Does this have a date on this? Um, EGM, well it's Resident Evil 2. Is this the N64 version? I don't know, maybe it might be the PlayStation version. I don't even know. It doesn't have a date on it, so it doesn't help. Yeah, something I had forever and ever. I actually like this uh, play, uh, this Resident Evil 2 kind of article they did, spread they did. This is one of my favorite things. Whenever it was still a complete magazine that I would sit around and just look at all the time. Gotta tell you, I don't think I've ever read the entire thing, though. Never had to. Game sucked. Raising a four ad. There's some loose papers here. More of uh, the Resident Evil movie. What we got here? More. More of it again. Let's see. How excited are you for the Resident Evil movie? Not, not very exciting, it looks like, to people. I saw it opening day, something like that, or at least opening week. Uh, Code Veronica X. Ah, I love magazine ads, man, or at least cool ones. There's more Resident Evil stuff, uh, obviously. What else would I be showing? Yeah. All right, that's all the loose. But no, it ain't. There's more in there. But for now, until we get that, let's check out this calendar. November 2007. See, this one had, this was actual, like, big budget calendar. So it's got all the Resident Evil Zero released in 2002. This is what, November 3 Chronicles. Any more on there? No. Nope. Anything happen in December? It don't look like it. Ah, there he is, classic. January 2008, Resident Evil 4 and 2005, Resident Evil 2 and 98. Yeah, becoming classic, the remake. It's kind of weird, because it still feels like a new game to me. One that I sat and watched my friend play whenever he brought his GameCube over to my house. And I was like, this is alright, but I don't know if I'm ever going to get into it. I did. So it's a, it's a wonderful game. There's a Nemesis. Good homie Nemesis. No, oh, Resident Evil 1 released in 1996 on the 30th of March. Which I guess these are American uh, dates. Obviously. Code Veronica 2000. There's Ada, or whatever her name want to be. Nothing happened in April. There's Lawn. Anything happened in May? Nope. Or at least not at this time. There's Ada and Leon. Bunch of nerds. And who we have? Oh, Leon and Ada again. Of course, of course, of course. What do we have here? Stickers. That is one thing that over the years I have really wanted to use is these stickers. Especially these up here. Forget all these. These are ugly. Birthdays, appointments, vacations. Man. No, uh, I thought about scanning these on sticker paper and using them just because I didn't want to mess uh mess this up the sticker sheet up i know it's like i don't know like they're made to be used but at the same time i always have a i love stickers i collect stickers i don't use a lot of stickers like i don't take them off the peeling or whatever because they're cool and i always feel like if i put them on something that thing's not going to last forever so i just have a big pile of stickers i do have this one bin like this plastic bin thing that i will put kind of lesser oh i guess they're stickers I like, but it's ones that, like, aren't super, like, I'm worried about, um, 
But I got a big pile of uh, stickers that are just waiting to be stuck. And uh, these are cool though. But I thought about at least scanning these, put them on a uh, sticker paper, printing them out and everything, and then using them that way. But what what am I going to use them for? Just I'm just going to toss Resident Evil characters around everywhere. Yes, maybe that's what I should do. Alright, there's Leon and Ada there, and we are moving into July of 08. Look at that freaking artwork, man. That's great stuff right there. Nothing in July. There's Rebecca and Nemesis, uh, Billy. Uh, it's a fun little rumor, but who knows. At least I would give him a freaking story. <laughs> uh, Leon and Ada again. Too much Leon and Ada. Ah, burn them. Uh, there is the body bag zombie. October. Not much going on there. There's Rebecca and Billy again. November. Oh, we're back to November again. All right. There's F and Leon. There's Nemesis. Good old dude. Huh? No. Oh, here we have some uh, more stuff here. What do we have? Oh, that's a receipt. What is this for? What did I buy that I kept the receipt for? Resident Evil 2 Deluxe. Thanks, Richard. Uh, what is this one? Oh, I think that's the... Oh, it's faded as all... Frick. If I can find the side that has... What is this for? Resident Evil Revelations. And the Revelations Guidebook. Sweet. Here are posters out of the strategy guides, I do believe. Um, I don't want to open these up, man. Eh, why not? This is from Resident Evil 3, it looks like. Yeah, well, that's good enough. We won't unfold it. This is a giant poster, actually, so I'm not going to pull it all the way open. But uh, I think, yeah, this is one that I hung up many, many times. Why is it only on one side? Oh, because it's a big freaking poster. I've hung this up many times since 1999. Not in the last decade, though, or so. There's a map from uh, Code Veronica. My hands ain't working. Never hung this up. <laughs> Didn't have any reason to. I just pulled it out of the book. Anyway, that's the map. All the maps for Code Veronica. Here's Resident Evil Zero poster, which uh, I got from my friend's guidebook. Uh, he wouldn't let me have the book, but he's like, here, you can have the poster. I don't like girls. I'll take it. Thanks, dude. So, uh, and what do we have here? More stuff. Oh. E. I'm a cheater. What is this? Oh, I think these are... I was doing a checklist whenever I was playing through a game. Oh, yeah. I was looking for all the Mr. Charlie things from Resident Evil 3 because I am bad at finding that stuff, so I had to make me a little checklist there. <laughs> to... To help myself out. Because I was not going to sit there and just search for them things. Nest Lab Puzzle. I was not going to sit there and search for them things like by myself. Sorry. I got other things to do. I like playing Resident Evil games, but I have a life. Alright, well, we got some more magazine stuff here, it looks like. Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 5 here. Yeah. Good stuff. Wait, what was this? Oh, no date. Okay. Resident Evil Umbrella Chronicles, two and a half stars. Great rating. Let's see here. Resident Evil 3D. What was that? Resident Evil Afterlife. I think that's what that one was. February 11th, 2017. $12. We got some more here. What do we got here? 
Resident in IMAX in January 27, 17. I went and seen this movie a billion times. What is this one? Come on, focus, baby, focus. Resident Evil Afterlife. Oh, so 3D. Which one was that one then? I don't know. Come on, man. Or maybe it was the same thing. This is a different... Oh, I don't know. What was that? Nine, September 24th, 2010. $13. Man, I spent some money on some movies. I ain't been to the movies in a minute. Is this another Resident Evil? 3D. 2010. Yeah, that was out in... Regency. Oh, Regency. Okay, yeah. I think that's the one I took. I took a girl to see. She's like, oh, look at his head. No, wait a minute. No, what? Resident Evil 3D. No, I took her to see uh, Extinction. Was that in 3D? I don't remember. No, it wasn't Extinction either. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Okay, yeah. Okay, I'm getting my movies mixed up. It doesn't matter. Here's another joke. And uh, here's some more magazine stings. Let's see what we got here. Oh, look at them. Looking sweet. Let's see what we have. There's a, there's a artwork of Jill. Some fine art from Jill. Of Jill, I guess. Not from her. I... We got some Parapper, the rapper. I forgot what the Oddity. Oddity? Oddville? Oddby? Odd, Oddy? Odyssey? Odd, Abe's Odyssey? Whatever. That Mega Man. There's some Jills. And I don't know. Is that from Mega Man 2? I don't know. New Resident Evil online details. That's hilarious. Uh, missed the days before online. There's a nice piece of art. That is actually a really cool piece of art right there. Resident Evil Outbreak File 2 preview. From 2004. Some online stuff. In the wake of these latest announcements from Sony, we asked visitors which big PlayStation 2 series they'd like to see taken online. WWF, Madden, Metal Gear, Tekken, Tomb Raider, and Grand Theft Auto. Well, it looks like they got their wish, I do believe. I ain't played Grand Theft Auto since 2005. There's a soundtrack to Resident Evil. And that is it for those. And that's it for the calendar now. i got to put all this junk back in here. So, uh, thanks for watching, man. $17 for this calendar? I probably did pay like $25, come to think of it now. It's ridiculous. It's upsetting. I'm now mad, and I'm ending this video. Nah, I'm cool. Everything's cool. There you go. Thanks for watching, man.